fans is Sean with Boxing Social. So we got famous trainer here, Ramon Sosa with the Woodlands Boxing Gym. How's it going, Ramon? Doing well, but so. All right. Ramon, the big news going all around the boxing world is Floyd Mayweather versus Robert the Ghost Guerrero. May 4th for the Cinco de Mayo weekend. How do you see that fight playing out? I think it should be an easy fight for Mayweather with the style that uh, Robert Guerrero has. Straightforward. Uh, I know he's a little bit longer than uh, Mayweather, but Mayweather should have no problem with him. Just the same little counter punching that he does and, and the slick movement uh, would give Guerrero a hard time. Uh, it's boxing. Anything can happen, but one punch can change anything. But uh, uh, Mayweather should have no problem with uh, Guerrero. So were you impressed with uh, Robert the Ghost Guerrero's uh, win against Andre Berto, or did you expect him to beat him up like that? It was a very rough fight. I mean, he, he fought the, the the right fight. He gave uh, uh, against Berto. Berto. He gave Berto a hard time. He did not let him get off. Uh, it was in his face the whole time. Uh, did not let him extend his punches and, and let him counter punch him. So I think I think he was it was a, a good strategy that it worked. Uh, I wasn't impressive with the fact that it was to me. I think Guerrero. I mean, I mean, excuse me, Berto. Yeah. He's a hell of a fighter, boxer, you know, but he let Guerrero get too close to him and couldn't get off. Well, right, and they're going to put Saul Canelo Alvarez on the undercard, the co-main event to the Floyd Mayweather. Uh, they're not sure who he's going to fight yet. It's to be announced. But they're hoping to set that up for Mexican Independence Day in September. If they both are successful, how do you see a Floyd Mayweather Canelo Alvarez at 154 pounds playing out? Oh, man, that'd be epic. I think that's the fight everybody, everybody would, would love to see. I think that fight I was calling before they even was talk with uh, Mayweather and uh, Pacquiao because, you know, they're both, I mean, right now, Alvarez Canelo is at his peak. He's a great fighter, punch, can take a punch. Uh, it's going to be a hell of a good fight, let me tell you. And, and with the power that he has, don't, don't be surprised if uh, he gets to uh, uh, Floyd, Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather because he this kid, he can punch and he can take a punch. And with the size, he, he, can, he should be able to just walk right through uh, Mayweather. So Mayweather, be, you know, I know he's going to be in shape. And with this style of counter-punching and uh, slick movement, but, hey, I think it's going to be a great, great fight. All right, Coach Sosa, so how did you feel about the Marquez versus Pacquiao fight? Did you think he was going to knock him out, and should it be a fifth match? Oh, no, it should not be a fifth match. I think that would be a, a redundant, you know, that's, that's hey, it, it is what it is. He just got cut with it, you know, with the style that Pacquiao has with that in and out crazy with his hands down sometimes trying to throw crazy punches from every angle you can think of. He just got caught perfect. I mean, he just, it was a perfect punch at the perfect time. That's what happened, you know. Well, Coach so you talked to Nacho Bernstein before on a radio show. So do you think Nacho Bernstein had all that planned out? Was that part of their game plan? He's a great trainer. I mean, uh, uh, if I recall, I know that, that he said that, uh, it's hard to train for Pacquiao because he has he has a weird style. There's no the way that he fights is just so awkward that it's hard for to train. He's not very conventional. So uh, you know they teach you or you train to, to to throw that lead right on the left handed fighter, and that's what happened with Pacquiao. He got caught perfect. And if he had it uh, planned out like that, it worked perfect. But more than likely, it was just the punch that caught him perfect at the perfect time. All right, Coach, so, so uh, can you tell everybody where they can come train at here? Give me your address, the boxing gym. My gym is in 